Hi, Youth Advance and Adult Students. Uh, Master C here. We're continuing on our path of review classes. So we covered some red stripe material and blue stripe material last week. This week we are working on yellow. So um, after we do our warm up, Master Cosby and I are going to demonstrate pulse and soul techniques one through thirty at like a it's kind of like a slow motion pace, so you can catch some of the details. Um, we won't necessarily be like teaching all the details because I don't want this video to be like two hours long. Uh, if you want more of the details, of course, you can always go back to look at the playlist, but this should be a really good resource. Um, and then I'm gonna do a lot of the forms, the higher level forms, facing away from the camera. I know we already have all of them in the playlist where we're facing towards the camera, so that's certainly good to review, but it's often easier to follow along if um, I'm facing away from the camera, you kind of do it with me a little bit. So we're bowing our class. Face this way, check it out. Face the flags, cook keep, all right. Paro, standing meditation, maki. Paro, face the pictures of the Grand Masters. Kwan Jan In, check it out. Face it one more time, check it out. Now, we're up today, it's gonna to be really simple. We do this one a lot on re review week, so you were maybe anticipating this one anyway, which is the benchmark fitness warm up. okay? So it's gonna involve 50 jumping jacks, 40 squats, 30 spear sit-ups, 20 push-ups, and then 10 jump squats, or if you're feeling really good, you can make it like a full burpee with the push-up, okay? I'll tell you one more time, jot it down if you need to. 50 jumping jacks, 40 squats, 30 spear sit-ups, 20 push-ups, and then 10 jump squats. Typically, we would do it for time. Um, when I was first taught this particular warm-up, I was told that five minutes is a pretty respectable time. I found most of our students, man, can crush that. So I would say make a goal of trying to get it where you're doing maybe like three and a half minutes. Three and a half, I think, is pretty good. The all-time record is one of the Mr. Carry-On specials where, gosh, he probably did it 215 or something like that. So three and a half would be booking it. Five is obviously always a good time. So take a couple minutes, work that warm up, and we'll come back and go straight into our holes and soul and our forms. Good job, guys, with that warm up. Let's get a quick stretch before we dive into our holes and soul techniques. So go ahead and put your hands on your hips and hip circles. While you're circling, consider where you think a cow might like to spend its day if it's a bit rainy outside. Good, other way. Arm circles backwards. And forward. Back and forth. Trunk twist. Hands back on your hips, head side to side. Looking left and right. And up and down. Good, spread your feet apart. Lean forward, one hand on each foot. And hada, two, set, net, tase, yase, ilga, yuro, up, kyu. Good. Both hands on your right foot. And il, e, sam, sa, o, yu, chill, pao, kup. Chip. Good left side. Hana. Two. Set. Net. Tase. Yase. Ilga. Yuro. Up. Yu. Good little bigger. One hand on each foot. And L. E. Sa. Sa. O. Yu. Chill, pow, coop, ship, 
hand to the middle. Walk your feet in. Good. Wag that tail. Always feels good. Excellent. Grab a quick sip, come on back, and we'll dive into Holst and Soul as promised. All right, guys, so we're gonna work on our Holst and Soul techniques. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna make this a little bit of a game for me and Master Cosby while we do this for you. So this is gonna be a fun review for you guys if you need it as a resource, but we are going to attempt to do the Holst and Soul literally in slow motion, okay? So the idea is you can see some of the details of the different movements. Um, don't go crazy if we happen to do something that's like slightly non-textbook, okay? We'll see what happens. So, and she may demonstrate all of them. I might demonstrate all of them. We might mix it up. Who knows what'll happen here. So, Holst and Soul, number one. Number two. Number three. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number Number 10. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. <laughs> yeah. Twenty. It's 
So there's a couple ways you can do 20. There's this way, right? Where I'm like pushing my butt back and putting my arms up. That's tricky because I don't want him to choke me. Or there's the traditional way, this way. Ah! 21, grabbing the knife. Slow motion. Three. Oh, yeah. Okay. Two hands. Drop the knife before I feel it. Twenty-four. She didn't like my twenty-four. It's okay. chest to push forward as I'm pulling here and I'm pushing away so I'm expanding here to get the arm bar so I'm locked out the elbow now this is difficult if um, they're a lot bigger than you are or you haven't practiced this thousands of times so I usually tell my students that there's a plan B and when we do plan B we're gonna add a back step so this is plan A if you can get plan A that's what you want Plan B, I'm gonna add a back step, but it's really hard to keep this tension if your arm stays here. So this needs to come here as like you're used to doing an arm bar. So I'm gonna step back and add the arm bar. Now when I come down, we can rotate for the camera again. This is the position. So we don't wanna get cut here, I'm still controlling, but I can lay some weight on it and then strip because I already have him all pulled out here and I'm controlling the shoulder so that he can't stand up, right? Or you can also bring it straight to the ground, pull him out more so he can't base, and then put your leg over top of his arm to take the knife. So those are some options. Um, plan A, like I said, is the arm bar from standing, but that can be difficult if there's a big disparity between height or size between the attacker and the defender. 25. Whew. What do you want? I don't know yet. What do you want? Candy. All right. Twenty-six. Usually working on the ground, really similar to twenty-nine. So Master Cosby's coming after me. Oh yes. Good. I have my choices since I'm not actually on a park bench. It's hard to lean against the park bench. I have my kicks. I'm gonna angle change. To find a go way thicker balance, down, roll into bah, the kick, or I can roll into a strike. 27. On the side. It's the buddy grab one. Yes, this is the buddy grab one. So um, a lot of people think this one is about rolling your partner over. It's really about getting the shoulder lock. So we're sitting on a park bench, for example. I'm gonna elbow, I can back this too, and then I can come up under. It'll help if my feet are underneath me and I'm coming to the lock here. So if we were standing doing this lock, it would look like this, right? So it's the same thing, but we're doing it on the ground. Good, 28. Rear choke from the ground. I always think of 28 as like 
introduction to shoulder throw. You're super low to the ground, so it's not very dangerous for the person being thrown. 29, we work a lot like 26. So we've gone away from our slow motion to a little explanation. Sorry. But some of these have a lot of common errors. So we started playing a game where Master Cosby comes in and she either tries to put her hands on my neck when she's approaching number 30, or she might, if we're just playing in class, she might just literally be trying to like tag me. So while she's coming after me, I can be moving around, I can be kicking at her, striking, and I'm still looking, boom, boom, for my opportunity to attack at her legs. Right? Lots of ways we can do it. This is the way I like to try to do it. And again, I'm just pushing and pulling, take her down. Slide in for a strike. Number 30 is the mount. All right, so he's choking me. Um, so he's got four legs, right? This is his table. I need to take two of those legs off on one side, so I'll do it towards the camera. Um, all I need to do is that. So he may not even feel it, but I've caught his foot, so he can, when I push that way, post it, right? So that takes that away from him. I can collapse in, which I'm a, I'm a fan of, but you could come out and then secure this arm, but I'm a big fan of the collapse in, so he can't post that. Then I'm gonna get, buck my hips up and to the angle, right? From here, I can punch or continue to pass the guard, whatever I need to do to get out from being on the bottom. Cool. So that's holes and soul one through 30. Feel free to go through, watch that video a couple times if you want. And if you have a partner to work with, I'd recommend going through your holes and soul four times. Okay, if you don't have a partner to work with, you kind of have to do it like a form. You have to be thinking through in your head. You obviously don't get the feedback of somebody's arm is locking out or the benefit of having multiple partners like we typically would in class, but a little bit of something better than a lot of nothing, right? So practice on that stuff, guys. We'll come back and we'll go through the higher level forms facing away from the camera. All right, guys, so we're gonna go through our forms. I'm gonna do them facing away from the camera so that you can follow along a little more easily. Now, of course, as you may discover, it's easy to follow along on the front half of the forms. On the second half of the forms, you'll be moving away from your screen, so you'll kinda of have to be looking back to follow, so there's not a perfect way to do this one necessarily, but it should be pretty good, all right? Um, I did Sigehyeon Ilbu through Pianon Chodon in the youth beginner class today. So if you want to review those forms, I would recommend go look at the beginner class because they are right there and uh, that'll be great. But I'm going to start right here in Pianon Idan. Okay. Starting in Chumbi. First move and I'll cue it out as we go. Box on the right and Idan on the left. High hand is going to come straight down and uppercut. Good, chamber the left hand, step out in horse stance, side punch. Shift your right leg into a back stance, box on the left, eat on on the right. High hand comes straight down and uppercut. Chamber your right this time, step out horse stance, side punch. Triangle step, pick up your right leg, box on the left. Side kick and hammer, step down, Middle chop, that's one. Another middle chop, that's two, three. We're gonna, from here, we're gonna step forward with our spear strike and kia. Back leg moves, turn into mid-level chop. 45 degree step, mid-level chop again. Turn, 135 degrees, mid-level chop. 45 degree step. Mid-level chop. Heading back down to the beginning portion of the form. Slide that front foot. Reverse inside block, Tulio. My hand is right in front of my nose. Back leg, front kick. Land with reverse punch and Tulio on a Zopakramaki again. Back leg, front kick, reverse punch. Stepping forward, two-fisted block, front stance. Back leg moves, turn into front stance, low block, chop. 45 degree step, 
High block. Turn to your right. Low block in front stance. Chop in front stance. 45 degree step. High block with a key up. And paro. Good. It's pianita. If you want to watch that a couple more times, feel free to go back. Otherwise, I'd encourage you to pause the video here and work through Pian Iran several times. Um, I'm gonna move on to Pian Iran Sam down here. And B, first move, looking to the left, and side block. Step up, feet together, low punch, twist to the back, switch, twist to the front, switch. Turn, 180 degrees, side block. Step up, feet together with your low punch, Twist to the back, switch. Twist to the front, switch. Two-fisted block, front stance. Stepping forward, spear strike. Pivot on your feet, knuckles go on the back of your belt. I'm gonna step through, even with my front leg, landing, hammer fist. Step forward, center punch, key out. Back leg comes to front, low X, boom. Those knuckles right on your floating rim. Coming forward, outside inside crescent kick with the right leg first. Kick, stop with your shoulder block, back fist, pull back. Okay, even with the camera, back leg, crescent kick, stop with your shoulder block, back fist, pull back. One more kick, crescent, stop with your shoulder block, back fist, and pull back. Step forward and Center punch. Back leg comes in and out. Your weight follows. Left leg steps through. Looking back, gonna jump back to the right. Switch my hands and key out. Good. Pianan Sam down. Moving on now to Pianan Sada. Fourth Pianan four for brown belts. First move, box on the right. Sat on left. Shift your right leg into back stance going the other way. Box left. Sat on right. Low X front stance. Two fisted block back stance. Box on the right. Chamber your left leg for side kick. Give me a side kick and a hammer. Reach and elbow. Shift your right leg into back stance. Box on the left. Feet together, switch the box. Pick up your right leg, switch back. Side kick and hammer again. Reach, elbow. Right hand comes behind your head. Open the left. Outside, inside chop. Left hand, open hand to high block. Back leg does a front kick. Land with the back fist. Both feet hit same time. Left leg, the back leg. Steps back. Reach out, grab. Right hand upside down, right kick, right punch, left punch. Front foot turns. I'm at a 45, going the other way now. Reach, grab. Left hand upside down. Left kick, left punch, right punch. Pull your front foot back into back stance, two fisted block. Again. One more, double action. One, shuffle back just a little bit. I'm gonna shift from this third uh, two-fisted block and back stance into a front stance and reach. Back leg coming up for a knee strike. As my knee crosses my hands, the hands close. Ugh, there's a key up. Continue to keep my balance, turn. Mid-level chop at a 45. Turning again, mid-level chop, 45, going this way. And bottom wall. Good. That was Pianon Sadan. Four Pianon forms down, one to go, right? We have Pianon Odan here. First move, looking left, side block, short punch. Good. Bring your feet together in the same direction as the punch and switch the box. Same thing to the right. Side block, short punch. Move in the direction of the punch, feet are together, and switch. Two-fisted block, front stance, stepping forward, 
Low X, high X. A little butterfly move. Pick up that back leg. Spear, land, punch. Ugh! Very good. Right hand comes across. I'm pivoting on this back foot. Outside, inside, crescent kick. Low block, core stance. Reach. Good. Back leg is going to come up. Kick into the hand. Elbow. Left leg steps behind the right. High level, two fisted block. Step out with the left. Reach, jump, key up. Low X position. Step out right, two fisted block, front stance. Back leg slides across. Reverse spear at a 45 degree angle with my hand. Pull back. Feet come together. Good. I'm going to bend my knees, let it go into cross legged stance. Double high inside blocks. Step out with the right leg. Reverse spear and pull. Butter over. Pianan Oda. Good. That was for the third guts. Let's move on to Basai. The red belt form. Historically, this was the form, the last form you would learn before black belt. So Basai always kind of has a special place in the Tang Sudo world. Let's do it together. Chimbi. Basai has a special chimbi. Pick up your left leg. Hands go out. Up. In. Grab. Here. First move. Up on your tiptoes. Pivot. And we're leaning. Three, two, one. <laughs> Landing. Turning back. Inside. Reverse inside. Back the other way. Reverse outside, inside. Pick up your lead foot, back fist, outside, reverse inside. Shift into your horse stance. My hands are in a box. The left hand is going to spear, punch, tulio block. Punch, tulio block. Left leg with a C step. Stepping to the center line. Step right. Middle chop, another one, third chop, and step back. Good. From here, my back leg is going to slide up to my front leg while my right hand comes up into my left. From here, the right leg does a side kick. Set down, middle chop, facing back to, to the starting point. Step forward, another middle chop. Good. Pull this uh, lead leg back. Your hands are going to drop. Or <laughs> hands are going to come out to the sides. Come up the middle. Flare those elbows. Step right. Double hammers. Boom. Coming in. Big jump. We're going to land the same right foot forward front stance with a center punch and a key up. <laughs> back leg slides across. Reverse spear. Pull. Feet together, outside, inside with a crescent kick, land, low block and horse stance, and reach. You're gonna kick into your hand, elbow into this low block. Another one, another one. Right foot slides out, front stance with a U punch. Feet together, switch the box. Left leg, crescent kick. You punch. Pull back. Switch the box. Right leg. Crescent kick. You punch. Back leg comes across. Right hand. Inside outside block. Finishes at your belt height. My knee, trying to keep it just like one inch from the floor. Good. I'm going to try to stay level while I switch to the other side. From here, the left leg is going to do a center step. Boom. Step right. One chop. 90 degrees to the right. Two. Final center step with the right leg. Step left, middle chop, key up. And It's Masai. Next form is going to be Nahanji Chodan. 
Typically we teach in Haji Chodan. I think it's at uh, First Gup Stripe, I believe. So let's go through to Haji Chodan. I'll be facing away again. Haji Chodan also has a special chumbi. This time we're gonna use our right leg. Hands go out. Hands come straight back in front of your face. Right hand is closer to your head than the left. The right foot drops, both hands come down. Good. Now, first move. Which way do we go? It's a good question. First move, looking to the left. Stomp. Reach out, elbow into the hand, make your box. Good. Looking right, low block, short punch. Keep this hand here while you cross step. As soon as you pick up the back leg, that's when the load happens, inside outside block. Triangle blocks, this is three techniques. Low punch on the center line. Swing back, up and in for the inward hammer. Pick up your right leg, hands come all the way to the left. Stomp, hammer to the right. Notice my elbow right on top of my hand. Gonna pick up my left leg, same thing, back to the left. Box and double punch. From here, right hand comes back to my elbow, reach, elbow, box. My box is on the right. I'm looking left, low punch or low block, short punch. Keep this position on the cross step. As soon as I pick up my back leg, that's my load. Inside. Low punch, back and in. Good, I'm gonna go to the left next. Pick up your left foot, hands to the right, and stomp with your hammer. Look right, pick up right, stomp with that hammer. Box on the right, double punch. Yeah. And Baro. Which leg steps out into Chumbi? The right leg. That's the Hanji on. We have one form left, Shipsu. Let's do it. So for Shipsu, another special chumbi. Picking up the left leg this time, hands coming out, coming in. It's similar to Basai, but the thumb does not go on the inside. Left hand is on top of the right. And now our position is about, maybe like nose high here. Good. The hand that's uh, open on top, Closes into a fist and extends out. The right hand just chambered. Stepping back and the first movement in Shipsu. Nice breathing motion. Stepping forward on the breath in, breathing out. Left hand covers near the shoulder. Step into a back stance with chop. Right foot coming forward in the center line. Palm. 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 Right foot steps in front of the left. High X. Left leg steps out. Dynamic tension. During the breath. Big jump back towards the beginning. Landing high double inside. Left leg outside inside crescent kick. Left hand outside inside. Right hand inside outside. Boom. All at the same time. Right leg, as soon as I keep that shoulder back, block. One more, kick, block. Hands come in front, dynamic tension down. Look back to the beginning section of the form. Lead foot, chop, and press. Pick up your back leg, high uh, pseudo block to the back. Land and press. Mm. You really shouldn't be looking back on those. You be looking straight ahead. Here, good. Back leg moves, half mountain block. One side, other side. It's fast movement. Next one, high block, step with our left leg. Double action, high blocks. Right step, turn 180, left. One final high block. And I think I missed the key up. I think the key up was on this one. The final technique has no key up.
Good. From here, we're going to pick up our left leg. Hardest move in the form. Trying to keep our balance. Back into Shipsu Chumbi. Good. That is Shipsu. I'll grab a staff. Let's go through the staff forms. Oh, I happen to have one right up here. Getting a good workout here. Bong Yong Yilbu. Going straight ahead. Stepping forward with the left. Low block. Stepping. High strength. Stepping with combination. Low. Pull back. High. Big circle. Double high. Pull it down. Back leg front. Keep with the kip. Yeah. Landing. Low block. Turn back, the other direction, same flow. Low block, step forward, high strike, tip right between the eyes. Step forward, combination, low, pull back. High, big circle, double high. Pull it down, back leg front kicks with the key up. Here's a tip. Every time you front kick in, in this first staff form, there's a key up there. Yeah. Landing, low block. Back leg moves. Turning into a back stance, low block, double high. Keep the staff high, turn, low block, double high. Left leg steps in the same direction that we started the form, low block, double high. Back leg front kick while you pull down, set it right back, there was a key up on that front kick, left punch, right punch, and mano. Step form one in the books. With all these forms, of course, you should be pausing and going back and practicing, but let's move on. Step form two. Banya Nibu starts looking to the left with the, uh, we often call this the low high form because the low high combo happens so many times. Looking left, low, high. Stepping forward with a right punch. So I'm gonna roll to neutral, step, Right punch. Tip goes to the back leg. Two hand forward figure eight on the turn. Low, high. Step forward, left punch. Tip towards the back foot. Two hand forward figure eight. Low, high. Stepping forward, overhead strike. Boom. Continuing to rotate. Turn, land in that high strike. Point the tip behind, step, spear, key up. Two hand forward figure eight. Turn, turn, turn. Low, high. Step forward, punch. Tip to the back. Two hand forward figure eight. Low, high. Step forward, punch on the left. Look back to the beginning. Tip to that back foot. Two hand forward figure eight. Low, high again. Stepping forward into a horse stance. Boom, little right punch. Right hand checks. Two hand forward figure eight, turn, turn, turn. High strike. Center up. Step forward with your spear, so point back and uh, two hand forward figure eight, turn, turn, turn. Low, high. Step and punch. Tip to the back. Two hand forward figure eight, low, high. Step and punch. Whoa. So that was Pianidan, Pianasamdan, Pianasaran, Pianarodan, Basai, Nihanji Chodan, Shipsu, Bangyang Yilbu, Bangyang Yibu. That finishes out Yellow Stripe for all the color belt curriculum, guys. So go through those things, work hard, and uh, I've got a little bit of a, a staff spin challenge for you guys. Now, I tried this in the youth beginner class. If you want to watch me not do something so great, go back and watch that video at the end. When I, when I try to demonstrate this uh, single hand reverse figure eight drill, but I'm gonna try it again for you guys right here. So here's the single hand reverse figure eight. Most of you guys are familiar. Uh, I always kind of compare it to a forehand and a backhand type motion from like tennis or ping pong. Staff is in one hand. I'm gonna let the tip kind of fall behind me. Now, if there was someone in front of me, every time I swing, it'd be like I was smacking them under the chin, pow. 
tip goes behind on the other side, coming up. When we do a forward figure eight, it's like I'm hitting down on top of someone's head. Boom. So if you find yourself coming down, then you are doing a beautiful forward figure eight. Tragically, the challenge for today is a reverse. Okay. So this is going to be kind of our motion. I typically encourage students to keep their off hand in front of their face just in case that staff comes back at them. Okay. So I've got the uh, kind of bin of dodgeballs here. Master Cosby is going to give me some tosses. And my goal is to see if I can keep my flow of the single hand reverse figure eight and try to hit the ball. Now, I'll give you some insider information. I did fair on the forehand section. I don't know if I even hit one of them on the backhand. It was a little bit embarrassing, but we'll see if I can do any better here. Can you help me out, Master Cosby? Cool. So. I'll have to probably break my flow a little bit just based on the timing of the throw, but we'll see how this goes for me. Coming up, oh, ooh, I nicked it. I'm gonna give myself part, oh, nick again. Ah, oh, that was a home wreck. Ah, oh, so far. Nicking it, haven't yeah, missed yet, totally. Ah, oh, ooh, another one. Oh, good, oh, I'm in the zone. Oh, I missed that one. And she hit me with it even worse. Ah, oh, oh, I missed again. Oh. <laughs> Oh, another miss. Oh, a little bit of a losing streak. All in all, a much better showing so far than what I did for the beginner class. Oh, I got hit. One a little faster. I'm nicking a lot of these. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, that was a good one. Last one. Oh! <laughs> so, have some fun with a little drill like that. You can use some socks or some stuffed animals. You're probably better at it than I am. So good luck to you. And uh, we'll keep working hard, guys. See you again soon. All right. Sorry for the choppiness of the video here, but I forgot the end of the cow joke, right? So where do cows like to go if it's a little rainy out and they can't hang out in the pasture with all their friends? You know they like going to the movies. Okay, now I, I couldn't let you go without giving you the cow joke. So awesome work, guys. We'll see you soon.